What's going on YouTube is Bruce with Bruce Custom Motors bringing you guys another official video as you guys can see as you guys can see there is a slight glare but as you can see guys I did not forget about you guys on the virtual cockpit I did my first design and my first design of the cockpit was amazing I got a great response from it so from the response I got I really said I wanted to bring you guys a product that you guys can love and like and essentially could be plug and play so for my original design that you guys saw i 3d printed and i made the bezel to it and i really want to kind of give myself or put myself in a position to where i can truly understand the dynamics and what i wanted to bring to the public because i'm a passionate car guy and i know that you guys are too and you know, what I've learned that I've seen a 1920 car that looks a million times better than a 2024 car is really never about the year of the car. It's essentially gonna be about how you treat the car ultimately, right? And the way that you um, present it to the public. And you know, this is our safe haven, our man cave per se. So what I decided to do as you guys can see is I went ahead and I got an official B9 bezel, right? And with that B9 bezel, so with that B9 bezel, I have retrofitted it into our car. And in case people don't believe that this is a B8, this is a B8. So let me go ahead and just kind of step out for you guys so you guys can see that it's a B8. One second. Guys, this is gonna be another project coming up got some stuff going on with that that's going to be for track day guys so just keep in mind that's going to be for track day that's going to be part of my big turbo build kind of what you guys saw on the screensaver so that's coming soon didn't forget about you guys as you can see i've been playing a little bit got something coming for that big turbo guys it's going to be amazing so back to the car as you can see i do have a b8 i do have a b8 just so i can show you guys the front this is the beast right here all right, so just want to kind of confirm that. All right, step right back into the vehicle. All right, so we're back in the vehicle, as you guys can see. Because I'm so retrofitted, you guys may not believe that this is a B8. So, because I essentially turned it into a B9. I mean, I got the shift knob. I got the screen. So, back to this, guys. So, I'm excited to bring this to you guys. I'm excited to... Uh, hopefully have this in you know people's homes and their houses and their vehicles i do have it connected to a can bus and what that essentially is to where it can uh work with your vehicle kind of like this rs nav so it's going to be kind of identical to this and let me just guys show you guys what i mean by rs nav this is going to be the rs nav so i essentially have it set up the same way as the rs nav to where it's going to be immediately can bus as you can see i'm gonna step on the acceleration right here and that's just in sync with my car uh, from every perspective so i set this up essentially the same way i did some some splicing and some wiring to create a harness to where we can be able to utilize it with our vehicles right so as you can see it's not perfect yet um I just kind of show you guys a close-up so you can see i mean it's in there guys just so you guys can see it's in there right i still have a little modification as you can see right around this area so what i'm going to do is i'm going to 3d print uh another vent right here and then i'm going to just kind of swoop that across so it can be a perfect fit so essentially when i give you guys these kits or when i present it to the public what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a actual vent that goes with it so that way you don't have to do any customization when you're uh actually utilizing your vehicle i really want to bring this to you guys and i i want it to not just be for audi a5 i want it to be audi a4 a5 a3 r8 you know i want it to be essentially uh for every platform to retrofit it to where it can work for b9 so that's my ultimate goal Lo and behold, that's my old kind of dash setup and how on the screen and how I was actually trying to set it up. 
um, from the jump. And I just said, you know what? I'm not really happy with this. And I really wanted to kind of give you guys something that you can enjoy that looks essentially OEM. So yeah, I'm excited about this, guys. I'm gonna show you guys the gauge uh, really fast and show you how it kind of works. I still have the R8, RS3, Lambo. I can create any design that you can think of. I can make it um, a RS6 dash. Right now, I'm still rocking with my Lambo dash. Um, I just like the way that looks. So yeah, let me just show you that real fast. You guys can I see, I have the Lambo. I still have the Lambo dash. I just love the way it looks, guys. As you can see, it's synced. Look at this, guys. So like I said. If you see a little lag, it's just from the camera, I guarantee you, because on my last video, I was like, hey, lag, lag, no. It's literally the delay from the camera. But as you can see, so I'm gonna show you my RS nav and this one too, just to show you how they're synced. You see, they're both sitting at the RPMs, right? Watch this, see? See, they're both just synced, right? And for those of you who have an RS nav, you know that that was like set up to the canvas as well. So it's just showing you the two dashes, Stepping on the accelerator and just so you can kind of see right guys so yeah as you can see i got my uh let me zoom in i got my boost my oil temp i just got a start on there i got my rpms gas gauge so yeah guys i mean essentially this is what it's gonna look like what i really love about this guys if you can look right here is a nav right so if you can see this nav is just awesome right just think this looks amazing guys like you can't tell me this doesn't look officially oem i just really like the way this looks guys uh if you want to just kind of you know work with the nav you can work with the nav you can do it from there you can do it from here as you can see these are set up on two different systems right here you know so if i wanted to come right here put up my torque app i can put up my torque app you know and be able to like literally have my gauges right here have my nav right here and ultimately guys i mean i think this is amazing right just want to show you guys this is coming your way i appreciate everyone for rocking with me let me know your thoughts if you think that you want me to put this out and you really want me to press the button to move forward, give me a like. If you say no, then say no, right? Just let me know. I love my car. I've had this car for a while and I, I never plan on, you know, getting rid of it. I, of course, I can buy another vehicle, right? But um, I don't want to, right? Um, hope you guys like the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Let me know, guys, what kind of videos you like. You know, I know that I have my big turbo build. A lot of people have been anxiously waiting for. I'm setting it up. I'm doing a multiple I'm doing about five things to the vehicle at the same time. I'm doing a new body kit. I'm doing the turbo. I'm doing my retrofits. I'm just really trying to get it to the next level. I'm, I'm even going to start wrapping it in Alcantara, kind of to match the steering wheel. I'm essentially just creating a new Audi out of my um, B8 Audi. So yeah, thanks for rocking with me, guys. I really appreciate the love and support. This is Bruce with Bruce Custom Motors. Peace, I'm out.